killed us. <coughs> it was that close to killing everybody. Everybody was sleeping. Anger and outrage as people learn their neighbor is accused of starting the fire that destroyed their homes. Adrian Satterley is now charged with 14 counts of first degree arson. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Sine Simpson. And I'm Tom Haynes. Police say Satterley intentionally started this huge fire that damaged or destroyed nearly 20 homes in a Hiram subdivision. Investigators say she piled up mattresses in her home, lit them on fire, then walked away while that fire burned. And as Fox 5 Deidre Dukes learned, Satterley called 911, but not to report a fire. Deidre joins us now live from the newsroom. Deidre, she wanted police to give her a ride. Yeah, that's right. Investigators say Satterley set her ex-husband's house on fire early Sunday morning, then left the house without alerting her neighbors to the danger as that fire grew and spread to neighboring homes. This is the booking photo of Adrian Satterley, now charged with burning her ex-husband's house to the ground and sparking a massive blaze in a Hiram subdivision early Sunday. I'm just blown away at what she done. Azalea Godfrey lost her house and two dogs in the fire. She lived next door to Satterley. She and other neighbors floored by the shocking allegations. She could have killed us. <coughs> It was that close to killing everybody. Everybody was sleeping. Officials say the 41-year-old woman deliberately set fire to the home on Rosemont Court at around 3 a.m. Sunday. The fire started in the kitchen, you know, dining room area of the home. Uh, Miss Satterley, you know, we believe stacked several mattresses on top of one another and lit them on fire. Fox 5 has obtained the 911 call Satterley made after investigators say she walked away from the burning house to a nearby Walmart with her cat in tow. I have me and my kitty cat, uh, me and my kitty cat and, and my suitcase and all the more if I can get transported. Satterley goes on to tell the dispatcher she needs a ride to her residence. Hiram police initially charged her with public drunkenness. She was then interviewed by state and local investigators as a suspect in the arson case. Soon after police learned she lived at the home where the fire started. Satterley lived alone. While police have not revealed a possible motive, fire officials confirm Satterley's ex-husband was recently awarded the house in the divorce settlement. My understanding is that she had recently lost the home in a divorce um, and, you know, and she was obviously arrested on Sunday for uh, public intoxication. And, and so I think those two factors combined probably led her to do something that really um, was unthinkable. Now that fire caused more than $1 million damage. Well, coming up all new at 6, hear the frantic 911 calls from terrified residents as their homes went up in flames. Tom? Yeah, your heart goes out to that community. Deidre, thanks. As soon as Saturday was charred, we sent out an alert on our Fox 5 Atlanta app. Download the app. Get alerts as soon as news breaks. It's free in the Apple Store and on Google Play.